Okay, biology with math. We are talking about different mathematical problems related to biology and we are solving them. Now, this time I am going to talk again with another example from Lambert Beer's law. So, let's talk about it. And this is the uh, question. So, extinction coefficient is also a name of molar absorption coefficient, which is termed as epsilon. So, extinction coefficient of molar absorption coefficient of NADH at 340 nanometer is 2220 whatever is provided whereas the NAD does not absorb at 340 nanometer what absorbance will be observed when the light at 340 nanometer passes through a 1 centimeter cubed concentration uh, cubed uh, containing 10 micromolar NADH and 10 micromolar NAD so let's understand the problem a little bit after reading that so if you uh, don't understand it by reading one time then you need to read it multiple times to until, until you get the message now the important thing about all these problems of lambda beard law uh, sorry lambert beard's law is that you need to find and actually understand what you mean by intensity of light what do you mean by absorbance and so on for example if you look at here cuvette is a simple small uh, tube glass tube or uh, fiber tube or quartz tube whatever it is uh, taken so that tube uh, is a container for the solution that you are using to measure the optical density right so let's say this is the cuvette and this is the light that is hitting that cuvette with the solution of a particular concentration at the intensity of i0 and it is going out at the intensity of capital i so the absorbance will be the difference you know by i by, uh, i and i0 that means for example if it enters uh, the absorbent the value of intensity is 10 and the value of uh, after intensity is 6 that we can say that the, the, the solution absorbed 4 simple stuff easy stuff so according to our primary knowledge what we know is that if the concentration is higher inside the cuvette obviously it will absorb more if the cuvette length and cuvette length means this particular distance if the cuvette length is more, that means if the cuvette is fat and much more uh, broader, again it will absorb more because it can have more con more of uh, the solution, so the concentration will be accordingly uh, changed. And also, uh, as it is having more solution and more distance to cover, the absorbance will be more. So that's why the absorbance, according to the Lombard's Beer's law, varies with the concentration and the length of the cuvette. So that is a value. And we can also write. So, just taking this off, putting in uh, here an, uh, you know, const constant and the constant is here epsilon Cl. So, that is the formula of absorbance. A here stands for absorbance, right, equals to Ecl or epsilon Cl. Now, in this case, we need to put all the values to get the understanding because the, what they want us to find is what will be the absorbance, right. So, what will be, what will be the absorbance uh, that is observed? So, that we need to find the absorbance. We don't know what is the absorbance, right? So, the absorbance, that what we need to understand, equals to epsilon Cl. Do you have the value of all of them? Let's see. We have the value of epsilon, and that is the value of epsilon here, 6220, 6220, you put the value here, in mole centimeter, inverse, and in this case, uh, the another important thing that they are telling us here, that the extinction coefficient they provided, the absorbance at 340 nanometer we are talking about. Because in this case, whatever material they have chosen, uh, that, that absorb light and 340 nanometer. Proteins absorb 280 nanometer light, DNA or nucleotides absorb at 260 nanometer. Now in this case, it is about NADH. NADH absorbs light at 340 nanometer, but they said that NAD does not absorb at 340 nanometer so and in this case what they are want us to find is that absorbance of that molecular constant and uh, using you know cuvette length is only one centimeter so you can place the value of cuvette length that is one centimeter and the concentration they provided us 10 micromolar NADH 10 micromolar NAD now here is another trick to this question because the question will be very easy once you know the formula but now let's see here this is not a simple mixture it's a complex mixture why because this is not only NADH with which we are measuring it's the mixture of NADH and NAD so the solution that we put in this cubit is a mixture of NADH 
and the mixture of NAD. So these two things are combined together, NADH, and both of them obtain micromolar concentration. So it's a mixture of NADH and NAD. So now, what will be the formula using this mixture? Now here is the answer, here is the trick to the question. It is not a difficult one because you know they have told us that NADH can absorb light at, two, at 340 nanometer but NAD cannot absorb at 340 nanometer. So if we hit the light of, sorry, light of 340 nanometer here, only NADH can absorb, NAD cannot absorb. So whatever thing we are dealing with here, whatever absorbance we will get by hitting it with 340 nanometer will be the absorbance of this NADH solution only, not any other solution. So in this case, the concentration we are going to put is only 10 micromole. And you know, this unit is in mole, so we need to convert this micromole into again mole. So into, we divide it 10 to the power minus 6 because you know, 1 mole equals to 1 into 10 to the power 6 micromole micromoles so 1 micromole equals to 10 to the power minus 6 mole so that's how we can convert this micromole into mole once you convert into that we need to just find the answer here is the answer 0 0.622 that will be the absorbance and here is the 0, 0.0 sorry actually 0 will be placed because I forgot to mention 0 0.062 will be the answer that will be the absorbance of this particular question.